Imagine being able to create long videos for your projects using AI and not just the four seconds and two seconds that you're used to with most AI tools. In today's tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a tool that you can use to create long videos just like these ones for absolutely free. But before we get started, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button for videos on AI tools and how you can use them to make your daily work easier. Let's get right into it. So the tool I'm talking about today is Morph Studio. You can check the link to the tool in the description box below. So this is the homepage that you'll see once you get to Morph Studio. So you can click on create new to start creating your new project. All you need to do is go ahead and give your project a name. Once you give the project a name, then the next thing that you need to do is choose an aspect ratio, then just hit create and you'll be taken to a new window where you'll be able to start creating video for that specific project. So as you create a new project, a second window will appear automatically. So if you need to create a string of videos that are related, you can just go ahead and create them under the same project. Up here, you'll be able to change the name of the video if you need to. So for instance, I can delete the short one and go ahead and name it something like maybe number one. So once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and click, and click save, and then you can just get out of that window. With Morph Studio, you'll be able to create your videos in a variety of ways. So the first thing is that you can input a prompt and create from that. The second one is that you can go ahead and upload an image and then you can create a video from that image. Once you click on this button, you'll be able to go ahead and choose how you want to create your video. So you can create your video from image and then you can also create it from text or from even another video. In our first case, we'll just go ahead and choose the text to video option. So the second thing that you can do is go ahead and choose the camera motion. So if you want the camera to be moving in a particular direction in your video, this is where you're going to choose the direction that you want your camera to move. As you can see, there are a number of options like you can choose from left to right, up, down, zoom in, zoom out. You can choose either of the motions that you want from this panel. Next, you can go ahead and choose the duration of your video. So you can choose the duration of your video from 3 seconds all the way to 10 seconds. Next, you can go ahead and choose the motion strength that you want for your video. So in the same way, you can choose from 1 all the way to 10. So in our case, you'll just choose 6. Next, you're going to input a prompt for our video. So I'm just going to input this simple prompt over here. Next, you can just go ahead and check out everything. Make sure that everything is to your liking. So let me just change this to 5 seconds instead of 3. So next, I'm just going to change this to 4 instead of 6. Now we can just close this window and then we can just go ahead and generate our video by clicking on this button over here. So it's going to take a while to render our video and as you can see, a new window has opened up and you can go ahead and start creating another video in the same project. So as the first video is still rendering, we'll just go ahead and create a different video and this time we're going to create from an image. Now, as you can see, we've chosen the image to video model. So I'm just going to input a prompt, which is not necessary. But if you want to give direction to how your videos to be created, then it's always going to input a prompt. So now I'm going to input the image that I want. I'm going to attach it. So we just give it a minute to upload. So once it has uploaded, you can go ahead and use the motion brush for specific movements. But in this case, we'll just leave it as it is. We'll just input a prompt and we'll just go ahead and create our video directly from the image and the prompt that we are going to use. So we are just going to close this window, this the motion brush window. So we can just go ahead and create our video directly. So we'll just go ahead and hit on the create button and the second video will start to render. So now I'm going to upload another image, but this time I'm not going to use any prompt. We're just going to let it render without any prompt. Our first video is ready and as you can see down here, we have a couple of options. You can choose to reprompt. We can also regenerate it with the same prompt or we can go ahead and change the style of the video with one of the styles that are provided over here. So the next thing that you can do is go ahead and lip sync your video. With the lip sync feature, you'll be able to upload an MP3 recording that you can use to lip sync with the video that you just created. Unfortunately, as of today, that is the beginning of June. You are not yet able to create the audio right on the platform. But as you can see, that is a feature that is coming soon. For now, you can use other AI tools such as Eleven Labs or even OG to create your voiceover. And then you can just go ahead and upload that to Morph Studio. 
to create a lip sync video. All you need to do is hit the upload button and you'll be able to upload your own recording. Now we can just go ahead and look at our first video, see how it turns out. So I'm just going to play this. So let's just play this. And well, this is quite interesting. I think with a stronger and better prompt, you probably will get a much better video. All in all, I'd say that the AI has really tried to execute our prompt well. So let's go ahead and look at the second video. And this is the one that we created from an image that also had a prompt. So I'll just go ahead and play this second video and let's see how this one turned out as well. So this is actually quite good. As you can see the movement in the water and the clothes, the hair, like this looks really good. This is absolutely usable. On to our last video, let's just go ahead and see how the other video turned out. Now this one was created without any prompt, just the image. So let's just play this and see also. Well, you can see the movement and all, but I feel like it's a bit too subtle. So maybe in this case, I'll just go ahead and increase the motion strength. So to demonstrate the importance of a prompt in this case, I'll just use two identical images. And for one, I'm going to input a prompt and for the other one, I'll just upload it as it is and just re uh, generate it directly. The creation process is exactly as I demonstrated earlier. So we're just going to play the first video and this one is done that we have created without any prompt. So we're just going to go ahead and play this first video. As you can see, it's actually quite okay, but the bear is basically not moving. The legs are just in a static position. Now in the second image, we are going to use a prompt and you're going to say a panda that is walking along a dusty road. So let's see how this one turned out. In this case, as you can see, the panda is trying to move forward, like it's trying to take a step forward. So I'd say that it's always good to include a prompt to try and direct the AI to the kind of results that you actually want. Now up here, you can go ahead and change the details of your project. So you can either rename and then you can just go ahead and update that if you need to. Now, if you need to download any of your videos, all you need to do is just go to the video and then to the top of the video, you'll be able to download or you can go ahead and delete it if you need to. You can also choose to download all the videos in a particular project together. Back to the home page, you'll be able to see all your projects here. You can also go ahead and just create a new project. Then you can go ahead and create your new project in the same manner. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.